everybody know what a bathroom fan is. Though I am very aware of the problems caused by excess moisture, like mold and general degradation and decay, plus the health problems, my family seems to be not. A fan, a bathroom dehumidifier, or as I like to call it, an automatic fart extractor. I took down the little window and I removed the glass pane. I replaced it with an insulating panel, but man the hard time I had finding a piece of such little cheap material. I am making a round hole on the outside where the gravitational flap or grill will be. And just before you know it, you run out of coffee and snacks. And a square one on the inside, for this fan to go deeper into the material and to protrude very little on the exterior. This is because I had this square fan from a computer cabinet. For a commercial bathroom fart extractor, just a round hole is enough. The fan has mounting holes at the corners and I threaded them for an easy later install. I am trying to align the holes of the fan with the holes of the flaps frame.
The panel is done and I put it back into the window frame. The dirty work is over and now to the actual humidity automation. I am using an Arduino Nano because it is small and the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. There is a solid state relay, one can use a normal relay of course to turn the fan on and off. The potentiometer's role is to adjust the trigger threshold, the humidity value where the extractor begins. I set mine at 60% and so far it's ok, you can always adjust it later to suit your needs. The range is from 30% to 90%, so 60 is right in the middle. The manual trigger occurs when the controller is reset. Indeed I wanted to put the manual trigger delay at boot time. So if by hazard Arduino freezes, and it will once in a while, the manual activation will unfreeze it. There is also an LED, a status LED, breathing slowly the farts and moisture to show you it is alive and full lit when the fan is engaged. The manual delay is set at 15 minutes and can, and can be changed in the code. The power adapter of choice is of course a phone charger. You'll find all the good links in the description. The enclosure I found is a light switch box with a small transparent indicator. I was trying hard to fit everything inside the box and to make the connections to the mains and the fan power cable. It's been a month now since the installation and it's doing the job brilliantly. The window still retained its ability to open wide if necessary. Costs and alternatives To use such a powerful microcontroller such as Arduino just to read a humidity sensor and to switch on a fan might seem an overkill and it did it is. But in terms of costs this project cost me almost nothing except the work of course which I enjoyed very much. The fan was in my possession for free, the Arduino and the modules are dirt cheap and the light switch casing also. But what if I had to start from scratch? What my options would have been? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. Number 3. If you already have an extractor and you feel posh, this Wi-Fi module. You have a phone app with all the bells and whistles, automation, timer, manual control, remote control and whatnot.
Number 2. If you already have an extractor and just want an automation for it, this humidity controller. Set the lower limit, the upper limit and it works. The downside is uh, it doesn't have a timer, so you'll have to add this relay delay module too. Number 1. A proper fan with built-in humidity sensor, timer, light sensor, even Bluetooth. Pizza? Pizza. There are hundreds and thousands of humidity controller projects on the internet, and mine is one of them, no better, no worse. I just want to emphasize that it is absolutely necessary and how to implement such an idea. Roger, tranquility, we copy you on the ground.